Did it work? Yes, it did. Yes. Sunny's balloon bro. No. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they changed off motion. Good. Yes. We're good. We're good. We're good. What? Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit more different. We're going to be working with a little bit more hands-on experimentation and just a little bit of physics. So we are going to be creating a landing vehicle that is going to safely protect the egg when it's dropped from two meters high. So your whole goal is to create a contraption that will safely protect the egg. I'll see you then. There has always been egg drop videos and it's always been really popular, but this year things got a little bit more interesting. So a little bit of a backstory, NASA sent the Perseverance rover to Mars at around late 2020. So the point of this rover was to essentially land on Mars safely and it's going to take samples of the earth and the dirt and things like that there, but it's mainly looking for signs of previous life because people are convinced that there probably was water or at least some sort of bacteria living on Mars at some point. So that's what it's looking for. But the most important goal as of now is to make sure that the Perseverance rover lands safely on the surface of Mars because it's such a big valuable rover, costs millions of dollars. We have to make sure that none of its parts are damaged when we drop it onto Mars. Right, so actually on February 18th of 2021, it landed and spoiler alert, it did great. So everything's doing perfectly fine. So now back to our project, our egg drop is kind of like our mini egg rover. Essentially what we're doing is we're modeling the rover and we're dropping our egg. Now we have to build something that protects our egg so that when it drops onto the ground or the surface of Mars, it doesn't break. So we're kind of, looking at how hard it is for scientists and people working at NASA to really achieve this. So just a little bit more about my specific project, we were given a starter kit to work with and we were limited to those specific materials. And the materials included four straws that were paper cardboard straws about this long, so four of them. We also got one balloon, so only one. If you pop yours, you could probably get another one, as well as some string and a plastic egg just to play around with. The directions were when you drop it, not to use your plastic and egg and to use a real raw one. So those were our materials. And we could also use one meter of scotch tape. So just one roll of scotch tape, which is quite a lot actually if you think about it and unlimited paper but there was one other specific criteria that we had to meet so more specifically our landing vehicle had to be 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters which is this much this wide this tall and this I guess deep you could call it so 20 centimeters is not a lot and I think that is probably the biggest challenge um later it was modified to where your compressed landing vehicle had to be within that requirement so if you have a parachute when you put the parachute down it had to fit in that 20 by 20 by 20 centimeter place to start so if you go online and look at all these egg drop videos you'll find these amazingly cool ideas and after browsing through them for some time, I came up with three giant ideas. So three big bubbles that I needed to work on for my landing vehicle. And the first idea was slowing down the fall. So whether this was a parachute or a balloon or any sort of thing that could help slow down the time of the fall. That means that there's less impact that hits your egg. The second is a cushion. We always want a little bit of cushion at the bottom or anywhere really so that the egg doesn't fall on the hard ground. 
And last but not least, in general, was to just kind of minimize the impact as much as possible. So these three keys, I saw them used throughout. Usually, most people would focus on just one of these big topics. But with my landing vehicle, we had to go with all three. The first part that I worked on for my egg was the triangular pyramid. Now, I really think of this as kind of like a car seat or kind of strappy seat for our egg. So you have a triangular pyramid that's 3D, obviously, and the egg goes right in the middle so it stays firm and secure. Now, the straws that were given in our kit, I cut each of them in half all about the same size and then using them I created like a triangular pyramid like you see in the video there. This is just to keep a firm hold on the egg when it's falling. After assembling all these things I kind of realized that our egg by itself didn't really fit in the triangular pyramid that we made at the beginning because it was a little bit big. So essentially what I did is I took some paper and cut it into bigger triangles and wrapped it all around the sides. So it was now like a covered triangular pyramid. I also cut a tiny hole on one of the bigger sides so that I was able to stick the egg in and out because I don't want the egg to be stuck in there forever. That was one of the requirements. So wrapping the paper around the egg not only secured my egg in there, it also allowed me to make a nice opening to pull the egg in and out. The next part of my experiment was working on slowing down the fall. So since I had a balloon and I also had unlimited paper, I put these two together to make a parachute and also a balloon. So basically the parachute was very, very easy to make. You could go online and there's tons of YouTube videos, just a few minor cuts and some tape. So the parachute, obviously, the bigger, the better. But since I had the size requirement of 20 by 20 by 20 centimeters, I only used a regular eight and a half by 11 inch paper size to make my parachute. The next part of my experiment was actually using the big idea of cushioning. I knew I wanted some sort of cushion on the bottom that could kind of give the egg a little bounce. In a way, I was modeling my own pillow. So using this idea, I went online and folded an origami paper box. Now, the first time I tried, I used a regular sheet of paper and the box was very tiny, which wasn't my idea of the big cushion I was going for. So taping four pieces of paper together, I made a bigger box that ended up still being in the 20 by 20 limit. And that was essentially the structure for my pillow. So after making that origami box online, I went ahead and started to add the filling in the cushion there because just having a paper box is not enough. So I went and folded some paper together into fourths and stuffed it in there, always making sure not to exactly press down because you want some free space for the egg to move up and down when it drops. I also folded some accordions, which were, in my opinion, my own preference. I don't think they helped that much, so folded paper would just do the trick. But in any way, guys, the whole idea is to just put as much cushioning as possible inside of your pillow. So that was that. Um, towards the end, I realized that I still had one straw left, which was great. So I felt like I needed to use this. And in the end, I decided to use these as legs for my cushion. So essentially what I did is I cut my straw into fourths. So now I have four straws about this big and I put them on the side of my cushion as you can see there. Now in lots of videos, you'll see people making straws that point directly to the egg and you know, they'll make like a pyramid looking thing with the straws outside pointing to the egg. It looks really cool, but in the end, all it really does is it takes the pressure and it points it directly to the egg and your egg is gonna break. So the whole point of these straws up here was to really absorb the first hit, so the first impact and direct the impact upwards and most importantly, away from the egg. So our whole focus is the egg. It doesn't matter if these straws end up breaking as long as the impact is directed up, up and away. 
The last step was to put all of my parts together. I didn't get this on video, but it's okay. Essentially, I had four parts. I had my triangular pyramid, my cushion with the straw legs, my balloon, and also my parachute. So I put them together to look kind of like this, as you can see in the picture, with the cushioning base at the bottom here, and then the egg on top, the egg triangular pyramid at the very top on the cushion, and then the balloon is attached to the triangular pyramid. So make sure not to stick that to your parachute. And the parachute is attached on both sides of the cushion there. Now, I actually brought it with me over here. So it is making an appearance. One thing you'll notice is that, well, my balloon did break because I'm filming this after my little accident at school. So I did bring this to school and we did drop it. Unfortunately, I popped my balloon, but this is, guys, what it basically looks like when I'm done. It's sinking a little, but it's been through quite a bit. I have my four straw legs still intact. They did a bit of the work. My cushion here with all the paper inside. My egg is still in there, and as you can see, it's doing pretty good. My balloon popped, unfortunately, but it was taped to the top of the triangular pyramid. And also, my parachute. So this parachute does fit in the requirements 20 by 20 by 20 when you drop it. So yes, it works. So this is what it, what it looks like. And yeah, we're done. And I hope you guys enjoyed this entire series for the egg drop. I had such a fun time making my landing vehicle and I hope I'll get to do something similar again. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Bye guys.